How's it going, everyone? And welcome back to some more Danganronpa, another Despair Academy. Well, here we are, aren't we? It's a little too loud. Uh, last time we finished up Chapter 4 and the 4th Class Trial. I don't even know what to say about it, honestly. Um... It was... it was something else, yeah. It was absolutely something else. Um... Tatsuki is absolutely my favorite character right now. Her send-off was incredible. Like, the whole ending of the trial is just... was just really, 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 really good. Also, let me just make sure everything... everything seems to be fine. That's what we love to see. Sorry. But yeah, um... Haru... I related a lot with him, and both of their losses just, are just, just no. I'm still recovering. Also, I had some stuff happen this weekend. I'm not going to go into depth into uh, uh, on what happened, but just know that it wasn't a particularly nice weekend, especially after I, given after uh, after that ending of class trial. But again, not going to talk about that today. Though we are starting chapter five. And I actually found out something interesting. I had to install a bypass for Chapter 4, so we're actually starting a new game. Uh, this episode. Why... Why, why are you not... huh? Why my controller... I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> okay, uh, I, I, I don't know why that happened, but now it's back. That was weird. Uh, anyway. I had to restart the game and see something else. It's kind of weird. Anyway, let's just start the game. Let's start chapter 5, <clears throat> see what it has in store for us. We now have a new student amongst our ranks. Kisaragi. Yeah, fine. last name Kisaragi. It's Yamato Kisaragi. Yeah, that, that's his name. Ultimate Inventor. <laughs> Haven't we heard that title before? I mean, this was way before V3 ever came out, so... Let's just go! Yeah, I'm just gonna skip this, this entire thing. Because this is the same thing. Yeah, Danganronpa another. But we have to start a new game. Thanks once again to Zephyrm for helping me out, because last time I was trying to get past Chapter 4 into Chapter 5, and it just decided no. Well, while this is going, I'm gonna... There we go, my water bottle. Also, I've been kind of having some... Uh... Sorry guys, give me a second. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. I was, um, I was adjusting my chair, getting my water bottle, stuff like that. I've been having a, a lot of uh, asthma attacks lately, so my br I could run out of breath during this recording. I should be fine though, hopefully. All right, let's go. Chapter four, bypass. Do you wish to skip to chapter five? Bypass to chapter five. Yeah, this is where we left off. Ooh. Well, well, very nice. Everyone is shocked by the surprise, right? Kisaragi-kun is also a freshman at Hope Speak Academy, the same as you. But, due to some circumstances, he joined late, so let it go. Yamatomi. That's right, Makako knows him. Yamato? Mikako-chan, do you know him? Huh? Ah, Mikako-chan, why did you turn so blue? Who are you? Mekaru? I'm asking who he is, the guy called the transfer student. The transfer student that no one expected. Also, the text block changed, didn't it? Interesting. Or maybe I haven't played in a while and I completely forgot that th it was this. But I'm pretty sure it changed. The text used to be white. A new character appeared in this place that started with only 15 people, including myself. That alone was enough to confuse our heads. A character named Yamato Kisaragi looking at us with a quiet smile. This man looks a lot like Kinjo. Why? Well, with the hat. Kinjo also has a hat, but he never has it in the sprites. 
Megaro had a fierce stare at him and waiting for it to open his mouth. And when and finally when it did. What the fuck? Uh what voice am I giving this man? Oh god. Um Matamato, Matamato to your heart. Everyone's idol is it's Yamato Kisaragi. I guess I'll have to go with this. Same. Same. <laughs> that's a, that's an amazing Mikara sprite. Was that okay? Nah, too ordinary. Seems like I was a little bit bored there. What? What are you saying? Are you crazy? This is a joke. Thanks to you, I just made an embarrassing face. Yes, you did, Mikaru. Yes, you did. Good lord, I'll throw up. Ah, I'm so sorry. Huh? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, God, don't let me die. I have sinned, but just forgive me from dying. Who the fuck is this guy? The first words that came out of Kisaragi's mouth were a hilarious joke that only seemed awkward by anyone, but soon we realized that his condition was somewhat weird. Oh, hey you! I've already bullied you for how long? I told you to get along with them! Kisaragi Gun is a kid with a soft heart, even though he seems like that. Well, excluding that, Kisaragi Kun, there's a little bit of an abnormality on his own brain. It should be said that their mind is a little off the shelf. It's not normal to be like that, after all. I am called Mato, yo yo. Are you worried about me? I don't see anything bad here. There's something wrong with his brain? What the hell have I got? What, what, what have I started this chapter to? That doesn't matter. I don't care if this kid is a genius or a lunatic. But the important thing is the existence of this being. We know there's been 15 freshmen at Upspeak Academy this year. We haven't heard anything like the ultimate inventor. And it's not just that. It's a transfer student who suddenly appeared in the environment of this very Hope Speak Academy, which it, which it was blocked and sealed off from the outside. While Mikaru was speaking her complaints about how things were too rapid to get to understand, Mikaru's words were cut off by, by her. Mikako? Yamato me. Alright. New World Order plays. I mean, it's a staple of chapters 4 and 5. It's played before, but like... What is their relationship, man? Did... What? Uh, okay, for her to be crying like this, it's the first time Mikako shows this much emotion, I'm pretty sure she thought he was dead. Yamatoni! Purakawa? Huh? The reaction. You know him too. What's the difference here, Mikako Kurokawa? Kurokawa? Oh god! What the fuck? Huh? She's crying blood! It's also coming out of her e What the hell is happening? It was in a single moment. Kurokawa's tears began to blend in right bright blood. It began to ooze out of her eyes, nose, and ears like a fountain. What is happening? She's- I knew she was sick, though. Mikako-chan! Kurokawa! <laughs> this is more than I expected! What do you mean? It's as if you knew that if you showed me Yamato Kisaragi in front of us, Mikako Kurokawa would pass out. Well now, don't you all want to know? What do I do? What can I do? The blood- the blood doesn't stop! Monokuma, what are you doing? Your role should be to, your role should be to cure a student when they're inj injured in an accident, like you did with Kinjo. Why should I? What? This isn't exactly an unfortunate accident. She'd rather just die like this. It's like whoops, she's done too many emotional expressions. How are you supposed to take care of that in the first place, huh? Well, I don't know, so I'll leave it to you. W what the heck? Well, either way, Kisaragi Kun, come this way. Yes, teacher. Here, it's Kisaragi Kun's E handbook. Be careful not to lose it. Wow, <laughs> thank you. I'll do it. 
I'll cherish this. I've explained to you roughly everything about living in here, remember? Then try to get along with your friends. Okay. Well, who is who is this guy? Why did Makako start crying blood? I don't understand what is happening. You guys get along with Kisaragi-kun. Kisaragi-kun's information has been added to your e-handbook, so if you're curious, you can look at it. Monokuma, wait up. Damn it! My friend is bleeding and she's collapsing in front of my eyes. I I was very tr I was very confident that Mikako was sick, but now I'm just certain of it. Even with that pretense of wanting someone to die, this Monokuma I can never forgive someone like that. What should we do? What should I? Mik Mikako chan please wake up! Uh, even if you ask me. You guys, stop blinking, hurry up, and support the other side. Mikaru? You, the transfer student. I'm so full of things I want to say, but right now, first thing is to save Mikako Kurokawa, because I have to hear a lot from this woman. It'll be difficult if she dies now. Yeah, let, let's move to the infirmary first. It's on the first floor, so the location is close. We decided to pick up the unconscious Kurokawa and take her to the infirmary. What the f- That was a start. That was the start of the chapter. That was the- That was the start of the chapter. I am so confused. Let me close a few things that I don't think need to be open at this- at this stage. In the meantime, the revelation of Kisaragi, the transfer student, doesn't even blink. Even though a person is bleeding and collapsed, seemed like a creepy person. Who is he, and what is re what is his relation with uh, Mikako? Despair eclipse. Hope never falls to despair. Chapter five. This reminds me a lot of um, chapter five uh, V 3s chapter five motif when they have the flashback light. Uh. Sorry guys, I just woke up a bit ago. You know how it is. Again, I've been having a rough couple days, so sorry. After taking Kurokawa, who lost consciousness over massive bleeding, we went to the infirmary together for the first aid. Then we brought her to her private room, and then we immediately gathered at Mikaru's room. A sudden transfer student, Kurokawa losing consciousness. Less than a day has passed since we decided to continue Satsuki's will and defeat the mastermind. We were so confused by the rapid change of situation. Kakuchan, I'm sure she'll be okay. Even Kurokawa was knocked down, and Kinjo isn't showing any reaction. The four of us are the only ones in this wide school. It feels too unreal. Five. They're not in this room, but there's a guy running around outside. Kisaragi, you mean. Who is he? That person named Yamato Kisaragi. The e handbook really was updated. Well, if you think about it simply, they would be the mastermind. The mastermind? But didn't Mikaru thought that Kurokawa was the mastermind? I didn't know things were going to turn out like this. But that doesn't mean Mikaku Kurokawa is also free from guilt. You saw it too, right? As soon as she saw that transfer suit, she became anxious and shed tears. That's true. As soon as she saw him, she mentioned Yamato me. The most primary candidate is Yamato Kisaragi. At the same time, I can't stop being suspicious of Mikako Kurokawa. Because we can't reach the conclusion that there's only one mastermind. What? You mean it can't be only one mastermind? Let me drink some water. Gonna help me out a little. The only thing I admire from you is your ignorance. <laughs> oh, Mikaru. Rather, don't you think that the possibility of the mastermind's revenge is because of the character named Yamaka? But because the character named Yamato Kisaragi appeared. That means... Are you saying the mastermind that it's mixed in our group and the one and, and the one behind a hiding that controls everything? Right. Why it is useful indeed. Think about it. There's no creature called Monokuma in this planet. That means someone is controlling it. Uh, DR2 would like to have a word with you, but then again... Also V3. Is, was Monokuma being controlled then? Or was it independent? Like, it, was it autonomous? I'm pretty sure it was autonomous in V3. <sighs> Sorry.
Wouldn't that explain that Mikako Kurokawa, who was with us, wasn't the one controlling it? Yeah. Huh? But didn't Kisaragi and Monokuma move all the, all the same in the gym a little while ago? I'm not sure about that yet. But maybe they did something without our knowledge. It may have been a, re a, re a reserved operation, or because of the distance we did not see it. Even so, it means that he's not a trustworthy person. What is certain is that he's been on the sidelines since we got involved in, in this incident. Yeah, they don't have anything to do with the mastermind. They can't come from the uh, from outside the school either. Still, wouldn't it be better to talk directly with Kisaragi come than to be suspicious? We don't know what kind of person he is yet. Mikako-chan is the same. When she wakes up, let's talk calmly. I hate being suspicious like this. I don't suppose you guys think that a person named Kisaragi Yamato is just a mysterious figure that just popped out, popped out suddenly, do you? Huh? What are you talking about? Huh? Wait. Do you have any information about Kisaragi Kun Ray Chan? Maida, please, for the love of God, help me. I don't think I can handle those, these fools by myself. Oh! <laughs> Akane, Taria, you saw it when we reported about the third floor, right? The Hopespeak Academy graduation album? Graduation album? Kisaragi Hanzo was the name of the owner of the graduation album. It's too perfect to be a coincidence, isn't it? Ah, somehow when I heard, I heard the name Kisaragi, I recall where it was. That album! I remember now! I'm more curious as to how you can forget about such an important information. Oh, that's a nice remix. And not only that, you guys, did you see the mark in the ballroom's arsenal? Mark? You mean that mark with the two wounds overlapped in blue? Yes, Maeda already heard it before, but that mark is the crest of the Kisaragi Foundation. It's not a widely known company to the general public, but it's a giant company, in the shadows with the broad re reach of high-tech science sector. Kisaragi Foundation. Kisaragi. Ah, I remember! When I was younger, my father signed to sell robot vacuum cleaners. The source was from the Kisaragi Foundation! Yeah, there's that way that people may know, although it is a company with a lot of secrets. As to whether it was controlling the mass media or not is unknown. Then Kisaragi Kun is from that big corporation family? If that's the case, it wouldn't be surprising, since the graduation album of Hanzo Kisaragi was discovered in the arsenal as a mark of the foundation. But just looking at this, doesn't it seem that there is some kind of relation between that mastermind of the Kisaragi Foundation, which we are facing right now? That's right! And it turns out there was one more thing, Mekaru. There's a clue related to the Kisaragi Foundation! Is it really? Which one? At that time, I couldn't say anything, but I found a picture of a person who looks like Yamato Kisaragi in the school's office while investigating the fourth floor. Yeah, that photo I found with Kinjo. As I had room to recognize to organize the situation, I began to think of it. The person in the picture that resembled Hanzo Kisaragi in the graduation album was Yamato Kisaragi, whom I met in person a while ago. Unfor unfortunately, Kinjo has that picture right now. That's what Maeda-kun had been talking about with Kinjo-kun in the school's office for a long time? Why didn't you tell us right then? That's... I think I was a little confused back then. Well, things were happening, and Kinjo himself told me to stay quiet and spoke some nonsense. Some nonsense? You come to reveal it now, but Kinjo was also suspicious of Kurokawa. Kinjo hasn't seen Kisaragi yet, so I wonder if he'll keep thinking that way. <laughs> well, he is that kind of guy. But right now, he has become a useless partner. Oof! Oof, Kinjo, oof. Then, there are three clues related to Kisaragi in this large academy? Yes, now do you guys know the reason why I'm suspicious of Kisaragi Yamato? Mikaka Kurokawa, who overacts to Kisaragi, over, overacts, overreacts to Kisaragi, was suspicious for the same reason. I am so sorry, I butcher that for like... Oh god, I butcher that hard. But I wish we could talk to him. You're tenacious. Well, do whatever you want. As I see it now, he's a guy with a broken head. So there's a high probability that there's nothing to talk about. What? Bye, Mikaru. Mikaru, where are you going? There's still a lot to organize with you guys. I have to move. It's about time that guy notices us. Wow! What are you all doing here? Monokuma? What? I don't want to see your face. Can you leave now? No, but... I was looking for you one by one because I couldn't see you anywhere. I looked around the school. Wait, but what's this? There was obviously nobody in this room on the surveillance camera, right? Uh, no way, you guys! You haven't done anything to the surveillance camera, have you? 
What is he saying now? I must have broken down. Are you trying to cover up your own self-management mistakes with us? You really are a rotten piece of trash. Ah, breaking my heart with this sudden profanity! Well, anyway, Miss Mikara makes sense. The facilities are old, so it's whatever. The facilities are old? What does that mean? The facilities of Hope Speak Academy shouldn't be that old, right? Ah! That was it! Was, yeah! The switch room in the power room was also a little bad because of the lights out, right? Uh, I guess that's what I mean. Yeah! I don't know! I don't freaking know! I got worked up about the camera and I came here because I have something to tell you! Well, I think you already know if you don't if I don't say it, but. The fifth floor of the school area is now open! So it's okay to research as much as you want! Do what you like! The fourth floor was all was mostly locked classrooms anyways. That for fourth floor, if you compare it to the human body, it's a bit sensitive. Shall I say it's the shameful part of it? What? You don't make strange comments. Miss Tyra, your face is blushing! <laughs> well, rest assured, the fifth floor is wide open. But, unlike so far, you'll need to be a little more prepared. It is also the top floor. You guys seem knocked down, so I thought it would be best for the last minute atmosphere. What? Are you prepared to reach the truth? Then go ahead! Boo! <laughs> Think of this as a service for seeing you guys so motivated! Oh, I'll have to go and see the status of the camera, bye! What? We'll need to be prepared? He's just probably- he's probably just caring for nothing. Anyways, did you see it? So far I was alone and I didn't have much doubts because there was- there were far more people back then. If four or five people suddenly disappear while the number of people is reduced as they are now, the likelihood of being caught will increase each time. We can't talk for a long time in my room because there's one or two limits that can let this slide on a basis just like, like I just did. So what should we do? If it wasn't for the jamming in Mikara's room, it would all go into the ears of the mastermind. For now, let's talk briefly only when there is something we really need to say. I'll call you when we need it, so you guys act like you normally do. As usual, you talk about eating about eating in the morning together and not leaving our rooms at night, etc. Oh right, you were doing that too. What does it matter? Let's just act together. Eh? Instead, I won't lock the door to my room and keep it open, so make sure you come in and out of my room from time to time. This mission will decrease the last time we gather. Eh? How is that for? What's with this stupid reaction? Do you hate it? No, no, it's not like that, but it's a first. For someone like McHard to suggest that. I knew Rei-chan is a good girl. Even though she seemed not to care about us before, she really helped us a lot. Stop annoying me. I told you not to be mistaken, because you and I aren't friends. This is just cooperation. Don't try and cross the line with useless remarks. Eh? Cooperation means you can be a friend. Don't be so cold, Ray-chan. Shut it. I'll get rid of the jamming soon, so come out and go to the fifth floor to investigate. Mekaru? Ray-chan, did I make you upset? She's just shy, right? I mean, even if she says those things, saying that she will always keep her door open means that she trusts us that much. Yeah, we're all ready to join forces and smack the mastermind right now. I can't stop looking at the goggles, dude. I can't stop looking at the goggles. Let's follow my car to the fifth floor and begin our investigation. All right, let's go. We're all we're still riddled with mysteries, and there's a long way to go. I could feel that our hearts were united in this despair. Kinjo, Kurokawa, Kisaragi, Yamato. The confusion was still the same, but we were filled with hope more than ever. I decided to go with everyone to investigate the fifth floor. I wonder who's gonna die this time. Oh, Kisara Yamato, Kisaragi's record has been updated. Okay. Morning. It's supposed to be free time, but I'm just gonna investigate. Alright, let's see. Oh, I lost all my objects. Should have saved on another save file, I'm so stupid. <laughs> I mean, it's fine, I'm not gonna do free time events, so... It's mostly fine. Yeah, I got rid of them. Oops. Wait, I don't even have the fucking e-handbook? Well, that's weird. Well, whatever. I mean, I rarely used it anyways. Looks like everyone went to the fifth floor. I have to investigate as well. Oh, there he is! Ah! 
The person standing on the way to the school entrance was Yamato Kisaragi, the mysterious figure who appeared, who appeared a while ago. What is this room? Oh, h hello there. You were Kisaragi. Nice to meet you. You haven't said anything since we've met here. Uh, I'm Yuki Maeda. Um, are you there, Kisaragi? Uh, oh, uh. Are you angry? I didn't mean to. Ugh. Huh? Okay, bye. What the? Tyra's statement about having a conversation well, certainly made sense, but... I couldn't establish a proper communication, which is likely to be to, due to his brain state. No, he seemed to be angry with me more than anything else. At least when I saw him at the gym, he was... He was... Messy, but I think he can speak. But why did he just stare at me and stutter? I don't know. Let's start, let's think about Kisaragi's issue later and start with the investigation on the fifth floor. Because it's a new place, we might be able to find something. Alright, let's make our way to the fifth floor then. Also, I saw Kanata's room, and I'm sad. Second floor. I'm gonna. Hey, Maeda, wait! Oh, hi. What's up? Mikari, didn't, you didn't go to investigate the fifth floor? I stopped at the, by the library because I had something to investigate. But then I found an important clue. Important clue? Do you remember there was a locked door in the back of the library? That door opened. Really? I thought Monokuma only said that the fifth floor was open. I don't know why I didn't mention about the back door of the library, but there's a lot of interesting things inside. That area is open now, so go ahead and see for yourself. Oh, okay, thank you, Mikari. One word. Since both Akane and Teri are in charge of the fifth floor without seeing this, why don't you tell them later? They both rushed over there without a second thought. I'll be heading to the fifth floor. Thanks, Ray. Wait, what? Mikar? She just said Teruya and Akane. She's really starting to become friendly with us. But I can't say this in front of her. Anyways, thanks to Mikaru. I know that I, I now I know that there's an open place besides the fifth floor. The door at the back of the library. I'll make sure to check it out later. I can check it out now. Oh, what do we have here? As Mekaru said, it really is open. The door behind the library. What even is this place? I think this... Was this where he was keeping... Kisaragi? Ya Yamato until now? The room inside the library had a very different atmosphere from the outside, and there were a few books here. But even those were all empty. There were only... There was only a half-open book left by Mekaru on the desk. There's nothing that stands out in particular, so this is all about the book. Is this the important clue Mekaru mentioned? It was a bit small book. It was a, it was a small book, and it looked portable. I decided to read only the part that could be read by picking up that notebook that had only the half of it left as if someone else had torn it apart. I finally arrived here. For the time being, Will. By the way, this diary was still here. Well, it's just a few that, can't, that come here. A day has passed. Everyone can hide their anxiety. They can't just say it. Since we can't get out of here, in the worst case, we could live here all of our lives, but... It would be better than being... Quite a bit of time has passed. Now the mood is a bit more stable. I feel like it has become that way. However, I feel an unknown anxiety. Is this really it? The anxiety that I have is being has been grow, has been growing more and more. I don't want to believe it, but if there's class among us, god damn it, fuck my brain, it's broken. Seems like we would be done since the moment we set foot in here. The suspects are them. They are suspicious. What the fuck? After that, the notebook was torn in half and could be read anymore. What is this? A diary written by someone? Who wrote it? Plus this content. We can't get out of this place. We might live here our whole lives. Those words are like... It's like... It's the same as we are in right now? But other than that, I couldn't tell who wrote this diary for what reason. Makara must have read this diary. Rather than worrying myself, let's think about it with everyone later. Interesting. So... A couple of things rushed through my mind. This is possibly not the first time a killing game happens in these exact in this exact facility. I mean, it clearly isn't, but like, we're not gonna talk about this. All right, let's see what the fifth floor has for us. 
Oh, Jesus Christ! Uh huh. As usual, I take the stairs to investigate a new place. Although a new place has opened, I could not connect it to the usual landscape that soon came into my sight. Also, UDG music. This is the fifth floor? Terrible bloody scent. The ground and walls cracked. It was a terrible sight as this as, as if this was an horrifying tragedy that just happened here. You must be surprised, Maeda. Mekaru. Well, who wouldn't be surprised to see this sight? Yeah, honestly, you and I can't help but fight the smell. We will too, because the fifth floor is so far distinctly different than any other floor. It is different, and it fits bloody like this. You idiot, the blood is already there. But look at the overall structure, it's not the same soon, soon enough you'll notice. The structure? What is clear is that this is a very interesting place. Onokuma said we needed to prepare in order to see the fifth floor. It means there must be something only in this floor. Well, let me take a look at let me look at it from top to bottom. Don't be dazed and investigate. Bye, Ray. Makaru. It's too abnormal. Ugh. The impression of blood and destruction is so intense that it's not very noticeable, but I should investigate first. What the fuck? Parlor. Ah, Yuki, you are here now. Toru, the fifth floor is did you see it? Now, even with seeing or sleeping in this room right now is... Wait, is this UDG music? Or is it something else? It kind of sounds like UDG music. I can't even guess to what happened here. It's like a terrorism event just ended. According to the tag on the door, uh, the door of this room, it's called the parlor. It's I'm investigating what I can. By the way, Teruya, are you okay? Huh? What do you mean about being okay? That was meant to say Yuki Maeda. Well, it's bloody everywhere. I think even I feel that li like the scale of our situation is getting bigger and bigger non-stop. Kind of saying this now, but you are very weak against this, these things. Uh, I must say you were timid. Yuki sure knows how to talk, so saying all of those things in front of me surprisingly. You're correct. Honestly, the fifth floor is shocking enough that I would never imagine. This bloody scent that keeps hitting our nose. I just want to throw this investigation and run away like a coward. But we made a promise to Satsuki. We vowed not to run away anymore. And these goggles. Haruhiku's goggles are giving me strength. It's scary and I want to run away from everything, but every time I think about that, I think about them too. My boy Haru! I miss you! It's kind of funny when I say this, but I'm more serious than ever. No, I can see Terry's determination clearly. That's meant to say... That's meant to say Yuki Maeda again. No, I'm, I'm sorry for calling you a coward. To be honest, I'm probably more of a coward. I don't mind. At least it's not a bad thing to say. Well then, I'm going to continue investigating the parlor some more. Are you going to investigate here too? Oh, I'll go somewhere else. I'll leave the parlor to you. Okay, hope you find something too! Everyone's growing up. Akane surpassed Yami's death and Mikaru also began to acknowledge and cooperate with us. Kuri also became mentally strong in the sense of Haruhiko's redemption. Even though Kinchu was fainted by shock, he too began to recognize his twisted values. Not to mention Haruhiko and Satsuki, who threw away their lives to save us. But what about me? Am I growing? Somehow it feels like everyone is moving away. It's like I'm the only one stuck in my one place on my own. No, why am I suddenly immersed in the state of futile inferiority? I'm struggling as far as I can to defeat the mastermind along everyone else. That That's the only action to think and act now. Alright. Dude, Teruya really grew. I agree. What is this? What's this door? They said that the fifth floor is the top floor, so it doesn't seem like it would go anywhere. Is this the rooftop? Damn it, it's locked! Monokuma, he might have liked seeing that the fifth floor was all open. Still, I feel something is off about this door. There seems to be something really important behind this. I wonder. It's suspicious, but I don't have many options right now, so it's waste it's a waste to worry about. Let's leave a little alone for now. I wonder what that is. Also, this floor is a mess, dude. The bathrooms. They're exactly the same, got it. Hmm? Oh, that's not translated. 1F laboratory, caution when walking. 1F? This is the fifth floor. What are you talking about? What is this, a cart? I a lot of dust. It seems useful for moving equipment and stuff, but it's really out of place. It doesn't fit the room. Well, it doesn't really matter. What the hell is this place? It said it was a laboratory. No matter where I looked, there were some kind of incubators and blood everywhere. It was an unpleasant place. I have to investigate, starting from those weird capsules. 
What is this thing? Some of them have lights as red and uh, uh, red lights, and some of them have as gre have green lights. Blah, 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 blah. Amidst the unpleasant metal-like capsules lined up, while checking one of them, I found a familiar name on front of the box. Hayame Ateno. Oh shit. Huh? What is Ateno? Okay, this is absolutely 100% UDG music. Why is the name of the dead Ateno? Ateno's name suddenly appeared. No, isn't this really out of place? Suddenly I got a horrifying feeling and noticed there were only 16 capsules, and I ran to the one next to it. Higami Tsuhira. Mitch's name! Hatano and Mitch. All of them were friends who died after being executed by Monokuma. No way, this wouldn't be... What's inside these capsules? It was only after checking the status of the third capsule, I could realize that my sin that what my sinis that my sinister premonition was true. Yuki Maeda. My name, and a green light. Swallowing my spit, I pushed open the capsule with my name on it. It's empty. Looking at the 16 capsules, some were some of them were lit up. Some some of them had green lights on. In addition, a mark was written in front of the capsule with a red light next to the name, and a mark symbol was written in front of the doors that with green light. Counting the numbers, there are nine red lights and seven green lights. Wait, what? The names of the green lights capsules were Yuki Maeda, Akane Taira, Tsurugi Kinjo, Rei Mekaro, Mikako Kurokawa, Teruya Otori, and Yamato Kisaragi. All of the living ones. Oh no. I thought we were only gonna find something like this in the last chapter, just like Danganronpa 1. God, this is early. If that's it then, then the other ones. No way, they can't be. Yes, they can, Maeda-kun! It's exactly what you were thinking! Monokuma, you... you did this! Yeah, this slab is a place to hold the bodies of the people who have died so far. Even though it's not really a morgue, it would suit for one. These were all made for each one of you! You can open the, open the capsule at any time, so if you miss the faces of your dead friends, take them out and see them! Oh, although you'll be punished severely for corpse damage, so try to appreciate it as much as possible, okay? You shouldn't touch in a museum, but only use your eyes. Why did you do this? This is terrible. You're insane! According to what Monokuma says, there are really my dead friends inside these capsules in front of me. Holy shit, what is this chapter, man? I know that, but how can I understand this? How can you convince yourself of this insane action? Huh? You don't believe me? Then wait a minute, I'll take one and show it to you. What? Stop it! Enough! Swear to God. Just say still, it's a little grotesque, so why not just use Maki's corpse with the least damaged body, okay? Stop! How about it? It's been such a long time, isn't it nice to meet each other again? That is so fucked! Maki, huh? How could you? Despite my refusal, he opened the castle without hesitation, and he pulled out Maki's body. At the same time, anger flowed inside, but my body couldn't react to anything because of the insane and abnormal situation. Oh, sorry! Even though the degree of damage was small, it's been quite some time since they started to decay. It's been corrupted a lot, huh? It's a bit disgusting, but you can endure it, right? The power of your friendship is stronger, right? <coughs> Damn you! Oh, yeah, the smell of rotten flesh is back for your health, so I'll put this away. Even the ultimate sharpshooter who struggled like that eventually became like this. <laughs> wow, why are you overreacting so much? It's a corpse. You've seen plenty already. Shut up. Why the hell? What's the reason for showing me this? What's the reason? What else is there than to make you guys despair? What? You guys were the one who started after the class trial yesterday. That you would reveal my identity and try to punish me. I'm just playing my opposition accordingly, see? <laughs> it is often boys' comics books, right? When the protagonist powers up and announces a decisive showdown, the villain also powers up accordingly to duck the protagonist even more desperate. It's the same. Damn it. Such a... such a terrible thing. Well, no matter how far you go, I wonder if you can reach the truth, let alone my identity. I'm hopelessly bored waiting still. For 
Prince, that that's desperate expression and almost vomiting was very good. It was a nice show for me to someone like my I could. <laughs> so goodbye. Damn it, stop joking around. What despair. I'll never forgive you. Monokuma does outrageous inhuman acts. Inhumane acts, sorry. I have to get back on track and continue to investigate the new areas. Wow, my, my lack of breathing actually helped out in this scene. That was so fucked, though. Oh, I can't- I can't cross the blood, okay. Collection room. Akane should be here, right? Yep. Oh, hi, Akane. Akane, you're here. Are you investigating? Um, yes, but... But? Look at this. What is this? Yamato Kisaragi, the third president of the Kisaragi Foundation. Huh? It's not the same name or something like that, right? Wherever you look, the Kisaragi Kun we met is a former student, right? That's true, it's written as the Kisaragi Foundation that Makara mentioned first. I thought this was the principal's office at first, but when I looked closely, he said that it was a collection office. Principal's office. Oh, or if it is the headmaster's office, it's already on the first floor. More than that, alternatively, this room is... The fifth floor is all bloody and in terrible shape. I know it's a strange feeling. You feel like only the fifth floor is independent from Hope Speak Academy. Turns out that Mikaru, who I met a while ago, said the same thing. The fifth floor is very different from all the previous floors. There's also the fact that Kisaraki Kun's picture is hanging here. It seems like an important clue that shouldn't be overlooked. I agree with you there. Let's keep it in mind and continue investigating other places. There seems to be a lot of information in the fifth floor. Uh, it's a bit difficult because of the smell of blood that they don't go away, but I'll try my best. Nice. Kisaragi Foundation second representative, Hanzo Kisaragi. Huh? There's something here. Oh, nice. So the Kisaragi Foundation really is like super important for this, huh? Yusako Kisaragi. Kisaragi, okay. okay. There's a small notebook on the desk. There was a notebook full of various articles clipped from the newspaper. Oh, hey! The tragedy! Let's see, what article is this? Huh? Seeing the clipped articles, I couldn't hide my surprise. In the photos of the newspaper giant... Uh, newspaper article, a gigantic Monokuma, a mob dressed with Monokuma costumes, were publicly revealed. What are these fishy contents? The world's most biggest desperate event in human history? According to the article, the world situation went into jeopardy due to a sudden, due to sudden simultaneous terrorist attacks all over the world. It was a crisis that should have never happened. That should have never happened in history. Maeda kun what's wrong? You look surprised. Uh, Akane, look at this. What? A newspaper? I don't really read the news that much. Huh? What is this, Monokuma? It seems to be called the most desperate event in human history. Akane, do you know? There's nothing, this absurd thing. No matter how much I read the article, if this had happened, it would have been an uproar on the news or the internet. And the date of this event is said to have occurred is in, is in the future? The future? What else does it say? It's literally the future. We were kidnapped at the entrance ceremony, so we seem to remain here, and it must have passed roughly two weeks until today. The day written in this newspaper is three months from today. So, chapter 5 is laying the cards all on the table immediately. I like it. Really? How did this happen? Obviously, we it was because of the school circumstance, so we entered a little earlier than the normal semester, right? Yeah, we didn't pay much attention to it because they mentioned the main class, which is not a preparatory department. It's a, which is a, it's a free atmosphere rather than a standard class schedule. We really didn't bother very much. Thinking about it, the date written on this paper is almost as close to the start of the normal semester. I don't know what it means, but it doesn't make sense that the newspaper is from the future date. The contents of the newspaper are also unconventional, and the whole Monokuma aspect of it could st could be some fabrication, clearly. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah, about that! If this is in the, in the normal DR universe, this totally happened. But maybe something strange happened here. And for now, let's talk about it with Rei-chan later. Rei-chan must know more things than we do, so she might be able to clear, clear something. Okay, then about this notebook. I'll have it. I can head it to Rei-chan later, okay? 
the world's most desperate event in human history. Why do I get this ominous feeling? Because it happened! You can blame Junko. Well, is it even Junko in this game? Probably not, huh? I'm excited for that. Okay. Ah, Mikara, trying to investigate this room? Maida, no, I'd like to, but it's impossible. This room is locked. A lock? Are you saying it can't open? Shush, you can over here. You see it, there's a password input panel. Password? Not a normal lock? Moreover, Monokuma said there was nothing locked on the fifth floor. Ha ha ha! That's not it! The record room has an auto lock function, so I can't open it as I like! Monokuma! Oh, is it important enough that it needs an auto lock? No, wait! It's not like that! What on earth happened on the fifth floor anyway? What the hell is this? <laughs> Isn't it your job to figure that out? I'm glad you like it! This place was specifically left as it was at the time! As it was at the time? Oh, I ran my mouth too much! I don't know, so figure it out yourself! Anyway, the door to the rec room will open once you enter the bathroom, got it? Oh, and one more thing! For the record, only one person can go in. If someone is already inside, it won't open even if you enter the password correctly. I feel like that's going to be important for the for the murder case in this ca in this chapter. What? Why does such a pain in the ass system exist? Makaru, no swearing in my Christian Minecraft server. How dare you? The recording room itself is a single room. It can't, I can't do anything with this because it checks the heart rate of the person inside and restricts access. Access. Then what if one, more than one person enter at the same time? <coughs> Sorry. That's impossible too! The sensor at the entrance will activate and secondary bulkhead doors will block the entry! Well, you guys don't know the password, so this is useful inf useless information anyways. <laughs> well, of course, Maeda, you don't know the password either. That's... It doesn't matter. Even if it wasn't specifically the rectum, there are still interesting clues in the other rooms as well. Let's continue the investigation by being open-minded. Once the investigation is over, I'll call you, so you better do a good investigation report. Yeah, it should be fine. By the way, Makaru, you were often discussed at gatherings and reporting investigations. It's rather funny when you ask to report our investigation. Seeing that you won't stop talking means that you don't want to investigate. Okay, sure, let's not do it. Ah, I was just joking, sorry! Oh yeah, I was also joking too. Sorry, go ahead and investigate. <laughs> oh man, I'm liking Makaru a lot in this chapter. Seriously, Makaru has no openings. I just got a reverse beat. <laughs> oh, she entered the lab. She entered the lab! Oh shit! But in the past, she would have been angry. I guess taking a, a joke with a joke is a little better. That's everything, right? I think I've looked around all the newly opened places. I decided to move to the dormitory. This fifth floor is, um, <clears throat> interesting, to say the least. Ah, you did ye relaxing music. I love this song. I, I, I can't praise this enough. Like, UDG's soundtrack is so far off from the rest of the Danganronpa t titles that I love it, and I love it to death for that. Yeah. Although, yes, I did have traumatic experiences with that game. Chapter 3 in particular, but we're not gonna fucking talk about that. Anyway, <clears throat> after roughly completing the investigation of the newly opened places, we decided to gather at the dining hall as usual to report on the investigation according to Mikara's proposal. Now, let me hear what everyone has investigated. This is the first time a report has been conducted by only four people. There are only four of us in this giant room. It can't be helped. Kinjo and Kurokawa are unconscious. Kurokawa is still out? I mean... Okay, the more, apt, the more apt question is, is Kinjo still out? Is he gonna be out the entire chapter? And Kisaragi is off topic. Uh, hey, but is it really necessary to report the investigation here? Might as well. The eyes and ears are open. Akane glanced at the surveillance camera and blurred out her words. I think I know what she means to, wants to say. It would me only mean that our report of the investigation could be comfortably in Mikara's room, which is not affected by surveillance cameras. No, you guys have been doing reports in the dining hall so far, haven't you? Then you better do what you've been doing. And I said this, didn't I? You can't stay in that place for long. I said I'll call when we really need it. Until then, do as usual. Although, I'll praise you for not saying anything there without thinking. Honestly, you guys were dubious about your lightness and your words, but now you're doing very good. Ah, yes, thanks! Oh, I love that sprite! Akane's- Akane's so cute, dude! How was phrased by Rachel, and you really look like a real teacher! She's a real teacher, come on! She is not just a real teacher, right? An ultimate level professor, too. Please don't make the same sounds as Maeda. 
Wait, what? What? What did I do? <laughs> Anyways, let's begin the investigation report. As you know, we've investigated it. The fifth floor was uniquely different, even within the different atmosphere of this school. Yeah, the first thing I discovered was the terrible bloodstain spreading across the fifth floor and the signs of destruction. I like that la- Bruh. Sorry, you guys probably heard a car honk outside. I like that la- Yeah, I wasn't making that up. Last time the text was white and the important things were at yellow, so now that the text is all yellow, the important things are blue. I like it. A lot. I can't even guess what happened in there. I don't think the corridor was originally like that. Is it something like a terrorist event happening at Hopespeak Academy? Because when the second floor was open, there wasn't notice in the library that the doors to Hopespeak would be closed. If that was, if there was that, then the serious problem mentioned in the notice is what was left on the fifth floor. Wait, that doesn't make sense. When we entered Hopespeak Academy, there was no notice that Hopespeak was closing, and the fifth floor should have been fine. Actually, I have a guess about that problem, but I won't talk about it here, so I'll call you later. Now let's skip this and start with something else. Oh, uh, well, the rooms on the fifth floor were... Parlor, collection room, record room, and laboratory. There were four rooms in total. I checked the parlor room. Like the kitchen and the dormitory, there were cooking utensils, like a gas stove or kitchen knives, so it seems possible to cook in there. Yeah, you're you're definitely gonna cook in a place full of blood. Of course, the whole room's covered... Exactly, the whole room is covered in blood, so no one would cook in a place like that. I did in the collection room. Like a Turrican said, it was bloody in there. Well, there was something. There was a picture of him. Him? The third president of the Kisaragi Foundation, Yamato Kisaragi. Ooh, sorry. The picture of, K of Kisaragi was hung in the frame of the wall like that. Is that so? That's not all. Next to it were pictures of people named y Yusaku Kisaragi and Hanzo Kisaragi. Saying that they were, f they were the first and second representatives. Kisaragi Hanzo! That was, isn't that the owner of the graduation album? Yes, the first representative, Yusaka, was also... was also... It is clear that there is something related to the Kisaragi Foundation in Hopespeak Academy. No, wait. Yamato Kisaragi was the third representative. It's a president, but... Uh, yeah, I guess so. The Kisaragi Foundation couldn't change their representative so quickly. What time frame would this be? It would have been between Kis been Kisaragi Hanzo at the day of the entrance ceremony. No, this can't be either. Right, chan what's wrong? Never mind, so what else? Um, other than that in the collection room... Akane, there were those. The newspaper clippings. Oh, that's right! Guys, there was something very suspicious, but we had a clue that seemed promising. Look at this! What is this? Look at the contents of it. it looks like a notebook someone cut out and scrapped the newspaper articles. Sorry, guys. Eh, what is this? Monokuma? The worst desperate event in human history? <laughs> what kind of a joke is this? We don't know either. It was on the desk of the collection room. As if it's as it's written here, it seems that there's been an exponential increase in the mo in mobs around the entire world, and they were rioting in each country. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. This would have reached the army if that were the case. Where, where were they? If you look at this paragraph, there's a, been a reactionary molecule of key people among the mob that's responsible for the events of the disaster. So the response team in the event were not under control due to the reactionary molecules that have been. Stained by the mobs. This is... The epicenter of this riot is called Hopespeak Academy. Stupid. But I didn't know about such an event. We don't... We don't, right? I mean... This massive terror cannot happen in just a few weeks like we are. That's true. Maybe it was Monokuma's manipulation. Honestly, it's not even real that a giant Monokuma destroys a building. <laughs> UDG moment. <laughs> it's not even science fiction movie. It's also too absurd, but it's not, th it's, it's not that there is only the possibility of manipulation. According to this newspaper, the worst desperate event in history of mankind has occurred in the future. In the future? It must have been about two weeks since we were here, the entrance ceremony. But even calculating from that time, there's still a few months left until the date written in the newspaper. And what is it? It's not like the newspaper flew in from the future in a time machine. I also heard my head is words and thought it could o this could only be a manipulation. But I don't know why he makes such an elaborate operation. Think about it, it's obvious that all the videos of the first motive have to be manipulated, so there's nothing to be surprised about right now, right? Future. Before. Let's speak Academy, third generation representative. As expected, I'm convinced at this moment. Makaru, what's wrong? No, I'll tell you later. Give me that notebook, I'll handle it. Oh, okay. She knows! Makaru put two and two together! Oh my god, brains! Brains are being used! 
God damn it. Yeah, for now, put all th suspicious things on hold. What's next? Did you find anything else? Maybe it's for the best, but Mikaru, aren't you overlining too roughly? Because I think it's a manipulation. I, of course I think it's a manipulation, but I think we should put some thought into it more. Mikaru made a stare at Teruya without saying anything and raised their head towards the camera. Um, yeah, although it's better to leave the complicated thinking aside. Let's continue the investigation report. Um, well, I mainly investigated the collection room and hallway. There was a place called the Record Room. What's going on there? Record Room, I couldn't enter. The door is locked with a password input device. So if you don't know the password, the door won't open. Ah, that sounds very important. And what about the lab? Did anyone search the lab? What? Ray-chan, my, my head couldn't... You two went silent all of a sudden. Don't be alarmed and listen. It's something we learned while searching the lab. There were 16 capsules in the lab. And those capsules were... The bodies of the people who, would die, who have died so far inside. What? Huh? Did I hear something wrong just now? Are you deaf? It's bodies. One of the 15 of us. There are 16 capsules, including Yamato Kisaragi's. And the dead bodies have, and dead ones have their bodies stern inside them. Surely this is just nonsense. A real corpse? I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. Monokuma took out Maki's body and showed it to me. That's so horrible. How can you do that to humans? Yeah, I'll admit it's twi- I'll admit that's twisted. Well, when was Monokuma not insane anyway? Anyways, we- In the case of the people who are still alive, a green light is on the capsule. That means, if we die in the future, we'll be in that capsule? Yeah. That's crazy! I can forgive him for harassing people who have already died! Yes, it's better if you got more fighting spirit risen further to aspire more into looking for more clues. Unfortunately, the lab had nothing else to be discovered except that insane sight. And that's everything from the fifth floor compared to the previous one. I guess the progress was somewhat better. There's another door right at the end of the fifth floor, but that was also locked. No, but isn't that weird? The fifth floor was mentioned to be wide open by Monokuma. But there are two places locked! It's wrong to believe what he says in the first place. Looking at your priorities right now, you don't know anything about the library either. Suddenly the library came up? Oh, that's right. There was a locked door behind the library that was also open there. Yes, I told Maeda. It's the it's the way you heard it. Inside that, of that door was a small solitary room, similar to the fifth floor. Flower pots are broken. Even if, if even if there's a bookshelf, all the books are gone or damaged. But I found something interesting in it. Interesting? It was only half torn, but it was a diary written by someone, like a small notebook. Maeda, don't interrupt my words. Ah, uh, sorry. Anyways, the contents of the diary are like this. We barely arrived here. For the time being, yeah, I've read this before. Yeah. We could live here forever. However, blah, blah, blah. I've, I'm not doing that in, in Ray's voice. I'm sorry. We've read this before. Among Us! That's what it said. Wow, was, was that weird? I don't even know what they were talking about. It's no wonder you don't understand because you're an idiot with no way of salvation. Some of the letters are blurred out and the black part is not torn, but this alone gives you a great clue, doesn't it? A clue? That we might live here our whole life, that we can't get out. Doesn't it feel similar to our situation? Well, there's that too, but I'm not sure about- but I'm sure- I'm not sure about the person who wrote it. It is- I'm not sure about the person who wrote it, it was in the same position like this. But it's a bit different from- from us when they say we barely arrived. And it wasn't written that long ago because of the dust and the paper and dry ink. Yamato. It was, yeah, I was wondering. It was, I was wondering who could have written that. My idea is that Monokuma transferred Yamato Kisaragi to that room and he wrote that. I mean, it may be a little different, but it was written by a person in this building. Now then, I'll ask at this point. If we, if there's a person who wrote this article, out of the 16 of us, including Yamato Kisaragi, who would, be, who would it be? Uh... Well, wouldn't it be possible to find out by doing a handwriting survey? But that method won't work with our dead friends. And we already know the person who wrote in this diary is the current people alive. No, the handwriting check is bullshit. Ray! Stop it! <laughs> but my head is right. The person who wrote this article is one of the currently alive people. Eh? How can you be so sure? It's a guess, but from the nuances of the first paragraph, the author was not the first person to arrive here. But we were the ones to attend Hope Speak Academy for the first time. Except for one person. The one who is unidentified and sure enough to hang a photo in this building. You don't mean Kisaragi. 
It is most likely that guy. Or Mikako Kurokawa. Why Mikako-chan? In here. That's all you, I can tell you in this place right now. Other than that, there were no other new clues. Mikara quickly noticed the surveillance camera and hurriedly terminated her speech. Ah, uh, right. But we're in trouble. We found out very little. No, we didn't have a clue before, but we found a lot. That's a huge fact, too. Really? That's right, Chan for you. Well, this is also a fact that I realized after investigating with you guys. In that aspect, you have my gratitude. Thank you. I like the sprite of her. I really like the sprite of her. Aww. We're friends! We're friends! I, I like this chapter a lot already. Mekara, where are you suddenly going? What about the investigation report? What is it? How are we done reporting? This is all I can tell you in this place right now. I'll call you later, so do your usual stuff. Friends! Happy. She's gone. We've gotten a lot closer since Ray Chan said she was going to be with us, but it seems like she's reluctant to be with us somewhere in her mind. Still, where does Mekara want to do this? Let's think better. Right, everyone noticed that what Mekara was trying to say. Yes. Now, Ray Chan is more dependent, so let's follow Ray Chan's words. I. Then we have to go into that newly opened library room. I went there. I'll go around and investigate. Let's behave as Mikarma suggested. Yeah, but something bothers me a little. What's wrong, Akane? No, it's just I'm worried about Kim Jokun and Mikako chan. Well, that's one thing, but now that the first aid has been done, we have no choice but to wait for them to recover. That's true for Kurokawa, but is Kinjo not awake? A day has already passed. Yep, that's for granted! If Kinjo kun was awake, he would have been severely punished because he didn't come out when introducing Kisaragi kun! Monokuma? Go away, we never call go away, we never called you. I almost gave him I got I almost had my I almost had the Yuki voice. I almost I almost had your normal voice, Ed. I know, I'm sorry. Whoa, easy! I just came to answer my Edakun anyway! One more thing about Kinjo-kun. I haven't seen any signs of him waking up or any shocks at all. Ah, it's gone. Still after listening to Monokuma, it makes sense. If Kinjo had been awake. He would have heard Monokuma's call to come to the gym, because we, if we don't follow, we get punished. That's more worrying, though. Kinjo kun, I haven't seen any signs of him waking up. Oh, sorry. Ugh, sorry, guys. <laughs> Again. You guys know how it is. Every now and then, a yawn appears, and there's nothing I can do. We'll be ending the episode soon, anyways. Honestly, when he was in the ballroom, and then waking up to see stuff like this, I I'd rather want him to be fainted like this. No, I believe that if you were Kinjo, you will surely realize your wrong values and wake up. Yeah, I feel the same way. And it's best to join forces with Kinjo and get out of here, right? I, I was just joking. Alright, then let's move. This isn't, didn't sound like a joke, but I agree, Kinjo did some pretty unforgivable shit. Mikara realized something due to the newly discovered clues on the fifth floor. Thanks to the surveillance camera, it was hard to talk right now, so for now, let's spend time investigating as usual until Mikara calls us. Alright, dear. Oh, come to think of it, I also decided to talk to Kisaragi as well. Before we investigate, I should probably talk to him. We couldn't communicate well, but I think he's still on the dormitories. Let's find him. Wait, I want to check if I can skip the day. Also, I also need to find Kisaragi's new... Oh! I did not appear from there! Also, that's Mikako. Oh, I found Kisaragi. Hey! The music was still playing. What? The person with... Oh, the fifth island theme! Let's go! The person with Kisaragi is... Kurukawa, she was awake? However, what's with this atmosphere? Yamato ni... Oh, hello! Why? Why is... Yamato ni... Is... Like that... Ah! Lady, I guess I'm sick because I'm not feeling well, and you seem to be in the same status as I am. Your face turned blue and you're getting discolored. How did this happen? Why? Ow! Ah, I see you got many things to say there. You're also very excited too. Is this the voice I gave him? God, I gave him I gave him his voice to this episode and I already forgot. I guess this will be his voice now. You wanna hear my adventure story? <laughs> you wanna hear me out then? But I refuse, I can tell you! <laughs> Yamato kun, until now, you were far away. I know what you're saying, straight up! Use your mouth language! I, I, I wanna say, 
Yamato kun. Tsukiu. Ow! Yamato kun. What is wrong with her? But Kurukao, she's still in a bad shape, but Kurukao's attitude towards Kisaragi is awfully strange. It seems like some kind of relationship. Why am I why am I hiding and eavesdropping? The purpose here was to talk to Kisaragi in the first place. Hey Kisaragi. You Uh we met for a while in the morning, but I'm Yuki Maeda. Hey, I wanna to talk to you. Yuki Maeda! What's this again? I haven't done anything, but Kisaragi stared at me fiercely. When I saw him talking with Kurokawa, he was normal. Seems like I'm the exception. Why? Hey, take it easy. Why do you look so angry? I just want to greet you. You wanna say hello? Uh, well, that's right. Please don't be angry all the time. I didn't do anything. It's a little sad to be the, the target of anger. Yuki Maeda, aren't you a bad person? Huh? Why am I a bad person? Well, it's kind of weird to call yourself good, but I'm not a bad person either. Then you... Are you really a good person? Bad, good if we pick one. Personally, I think I'm nice. Good. Oh, a change of heart. A change of heart? Bright as light. More than previously, you say you're good. When it comes to that Kisaragi had a problem on his brain. Although the conversation is difficult to comprehend, it doesn't seem impossible at all. A change of heart? This man clearly knows something that we don't. Oh, I see Satsuki there. I just noticed her. <laughs> anyway. And Kisaragi seemed to have loosened up the boundaries to see if he could listen to me. Yeah, if I had done anything wrong, please let tell me for sure. Don't be angry for no reason. I'll fix it somehow. You, Yuki Maeda, no fault. That's it. Is it like that? Me misunderstood. Misunderstanding? I heard that Kisaragi was a student who just entered to help speak as the ultimate inventor, so you're a classmate. I sent my greetings to you once. Well, they said you had a little problem in your brain, but since you are my friend, tell me if there's anything difficult. If I can, I can help you. And I'd like to talk to you. I'd like you to talk to the others too. Although there were more of us who are already gone. Ah, I see, alright. All good, understood, got it. He was angry at first for no reason, so I thought it would be difficult to get close to each other, but it seems to have been a minor misunderstanding. It's a little bit complicated to talk, but... Mikara says that Kisaragi is the most likely candidate to be the mastermind, but I don't feel that way as a result of by talking directly. Is it because of the brain damage? Or maybe he's acting like an innocent person? Either way, until Mikara calls us, uh, we have to keep investigating. For now, I think we sh it should be okay to know more about Kisaragi. You are now able to spend free time events with Yamato Kisaragi, and I know that these are the ones that are translated in this game. Come to think of it, this was originally a wall with nothing in it. And then one day, this became Kisaragi's private room. Well, maybe it was Monokuma's doing. It's not surprising that a new student arrives and you construct enough to make a new room. I'm not surprised anymore. Well then, let's move. Afternoon. We're gonna go to our room and say hi, Yamato. Bye bye. Not not talking to you. Huh? What is that? Oh. Oh, that's the paper we got on the first chapter. I completely forgot it was there. Wait, that- huh? Confusion! Ah! Anyway, guys. We are saving! This has been- Yeah, this has been a very, very, very interesting start of chapter. I was very- How do I put this? I was almost convinced Mikako was sick during chapter 4. Because she constantly collapsed and shit. But now I'm absolutely 100% con convinced. She is sick. And Yamato's arrival is not going to make this any easier. If you want my opinion on who's going to die, I'm going to save that for next episode probably. But I have a sneaking suspicion I know exactly who it is. In any case though, uh, Yamato is an interesting character. And I don't think everything that comes out of his mouth is pure bullshit. Um, not that he's lying, he's just like completely confused. I would say... That the change of heart is gonna correlate somehow with the fucking notes from the second chapter. I don't know. I'm just making guesses at this point. But yeah, that'll be all for me today. Let's just save again. That'll be all for me today, guys. Thank you all for watching. If you liked today's episode, consider leaving a like and subscribing if you are new to the channel. And if you want to be notified of future uploads like this one, hit the little bell. You know what to do. Also, if you want to be... No, uh, no. 
God damn it. <laughs> if you want to follow me on Discord or Twitch, if you want to join my Discord or follow my Twitch channel for more constant updates, link to both is in the description below. Guys, thank you so much for watching again. Stay safe. Until next time. Peace.